Tonight's headlines are brought to you by McDonald's and Mariana's Coffee. Tonight on the Channel 2 News, the governor has canceled the typhoon conditions, the end of Typhoon Belavin's passage through the Marianas. Also tonight, the Department of Fire and Emergency Medical Services' response to the typhoon, and a fuse blows at the Kagman High Shelter during typhoon. In sports, school sports for the week will be rescheduled. PSS Commissioner explains more. Stay with us, these stories and more are next. ready when it comes to the good stuff oh my goodness gracious they stay ready these are the two sauces sweet and spicy jam and the mambo look how that thing drizzle on there the way it's glistening stop oh my mm, mm, mm. sweet and spicy jam and mambo sauce are on the mcdonald's menu for a limited time oh my goodness ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Typhoon Belavin tracking further away from the Marianas, Governor Palacios has canceled typhoon conditions for the islands of Saipan, Tinian, and Rhoda. Frankie Elliptico, on behalf of the governor's office, says that this storm developed quickly and commented on the CNMI's response time. It escalated um, uh, more quickly than it did the last storm. We did uh, have a lot more notices in advance, or maybe a few more days. Um, but I think a lot more people were tracking it through the National Weather Service. And then on Sunday, we began putting out notices. Of course, on Monday morning, we were, went to condition two. And then on um, by Monday night, we had announced that we would be going to condition one. So we gave them advance notice that we would be going into condition one by Tuesday morning at 5 a.m. We, to my recollection, that has had not been done before, where we let everybody know we'll be going to a condition one status. As far as the the compressed timeline, uh, it's different for every storm. Some storms, you know, you kind of it starts off a lot farther from the scene of mine, and we know in advance, a lot more in advance, that it's coming. Some storms are um, they form right near us, and some storms they um, form a lot farther than us, so we get more notice. As officials continue to assess the effects of Belavin on Saipan, the governor left this morning to assess damages to Tinian and Rhoda. This morning, the mayor of Rhoda, as of this time, at the, I mean, as of that time, reported no major damage um, as of 10 a.m. Of course, they are going to be continuing to do assessments throughout the day. The governor is on his way, um, together with FEMA and other uh, military officials, on his way to Rhoda and to Tinian to do some site assessments as well and to have conversations with the mayor to see how we uh, or the 
Homeland Security Office as well as the partners, the federal partners and those agencies here on the island can assist with any of the recovery efforts. Gotcha. Was there any kind of um, considerable damage done here in Saipan? There is no uh, considerable damage according to the reports that were made today um, other than what was usual after any typhoon of this strength and magnitude. Um, so we're, there are some downed power lines, some downed, um, so that there's pockets of outages, uh, electricity out, outages, um, but no major considerable damage um, that was reported as of 10 a.m. this morning. Now, of course, again, I'm going to say that that can change as more assessments are done um, and more reports come in throughout the day. Elliptico says that the CUC is working to restore power outages across the islands. Rhoda at this point still does not have power and CUC is currently working to bring to restore power to the island of Rhoda. Uh, Tinian, at, as of 10 a.m. this morning, there was power in uh, throughout the island except for the airport and again CUC is addressing that and on Saipan there are uh, pockets of outages, um, there are some downed lines and some uh, leaning uh, power poles, utility poles. So there are pockets of uh, areas where there is no power, but by and large, I believe their power has been restored to most of the island. Besides the power outage in Rota, Elliptico says that the airports will be operational as soon as tomorrow. There was no uh, significant damage reported to any of the airports on all three islands. Uh, regular uh, flights will resume tomorrow, according to CPA. Um, there are flights tonight. Uh, Jeju and United are um, flying out tonight. The cancellation of conditions means that damaging winds associated with Typhoon Belaven are no longer expected. Although the typhoon conditions are canceled, Tropical Storm Condition 1 is maintained, meaning tropical storm winds of 39 miles per hour or more are imminent or occurring. The governor's office advises residents to maintain precautionary measures for gusty winds and heavy showers. In addition to this, it is advised to remain at home unless necessary and to stay off roads and streets to allow emergency crews to assess, clear debris, and make repairs. For Channel 2, this is Trey Youngdahl reporting. CNMI Public School System Interim Commissioner Donna Flores says that school will resume classes this Friday. She says that school staff will return this Thursday to prepare the facilities for the students' return. We decided to um, have our school um, teams do their site assessments uh, indoors because we weren't, we could not access, you know, inside the classroom. So we rather that all the school staff come and make their assessments, make any necessary, um, you know, if they have to clean or whatever it is they need to do to prepare for our students come Friday. So that's the purpose. Uh, one of the main reasons why we decided to um, instead have the kids come back on Friday, just so we can prepare the campuses for them. Flores also discusses the possibility of scheduling makeup days for the students. Makeup classes, of course, that's our um, State Board of Education's um, decision, um, but we will put in a request to either um, waive or um, add days uh, to make up for the lost, lost days because of the storm. Save big on mobile and home internet with Link. Get a mobile plan with 40 gigabytes of LTE data and 30 Mbps down on home internet for as low as $95 a month. Better yet, bundle your services with any iPhone 14 series and receive a $50 credit, a SuperPod AX, and basic installation completely free. We'll also cover your first two months of home internet service for savings of over $500. Offer valid for a limited time, so Link, bundle, and save today. Tokomo Pacific, better together. Get your goods here with care and attention with Micronesia Air Cargo Services. Max is all about connections, daily flights to and from Guam, four times a week to Rota, and bi-weekly flights to Tinian. We are connecting the Marianas. Perishable goods, Home Depot furniture and appliances, even live animals operating since 2013. Check out our Thursday special to Rota from Guam and Saipan. Call Max at 670-288-6227.
If it fits, we'll take it. Green sea turtles and hawksbill turtles call the Mariana Islands home. They're an important part of the marine ecosystem. They are under threat and they are protected under CNMI law. Keep plastic out of the ocean. Keep vehicles off the beach. Use the sea turtle stranding hotline if you see poaching activities or if you see a turtle in trouble. Call 287-8537 and save a turtle. The Department of Fire and Emergency Medical Services Typhoon Activation Team worked through the night to support emergency response crews during the storm. The activation team is comprised of the Charlie Shift at DFEMS. All of the members are admins, also called daily personnel. If there was any fallen trees or any debris that was in the way of the medics or the engine or the forestry truck, we would go out and clear it for them to make it more accessible for for the responding units. And it was also us, uh, mayor's office, homeland, and DPS. The crew worked all night to clear debris in Eslito, Kobler, San Antonio, and more. Mojica says that there were no injuries reported as a result of the typhoon. No major runs, no anybody that needed medical attention. Uh, everyone that needed to be transported to a, a shelter that was either bedridden or wheelchair, uh, we brought them to the, to the shelters. Shelters were activated Monday afternoon in preparation of Typhoon Bolaven, and residents were quick to file in for safety. Cagman High Shelter Director Scott Borja says that people were ready to seek shelter as soon as the doors were opened. As soon as that 6 p.m. Uh, notice was uh, uh, given out to the public that Cagman High was going to be a shelter, we got like maybe four families that came in immediately. During a power outage last night, a fuse blew at the shelter. Borja explains more. During the power outage, we had a generator on standby, so we made sure to like hook that on as soon as uh, the power went out. But then uh, around, I would say, 9 p.m. last night, there was an island-wide uh, notice that power is back online, but unfortunately our fuse back there, somewhere back there, was still blown up, so we had to stay on the generator the whole night. So. Gotcha. Yeah. So, but you did have power uh, even though the fuse was <clears> blown, <throat> right? Um, still po we still had power, but it was... Uh, Mainly just the lights were uh, being powered by the generator. Gotcha. And we got an extension to come out here to at least uh, put on an outlet for charging their phones or anything that they need. Gotcha. And even a water dispenser to keep the water cold. So. At Cagman High Shelter alone, nine families made use of the facilities, totaling 55 people. I try my best to be calm and be informative for them. So whenever they come to me and ask questions, I give them the best information that I could. But I always assure them that, you know, everything's safe and uh, if they need it, anything, they can come to me and I'll do my best to accommodate them. Premium office space is available now at the Hermosa Vista Business Park on Capitol Hill. Features include dedicated parking, fast internet, backup power, good water, and natural light throughout to go along with the very best views on Saipan. So don't settle for space when you can get peace and peace of mind. Call Hermosa Vista today at 670-483-4750 or email hvsaipan at gmail.com.
Buenas sports fans. In wake of Typhoon Belaven, school sports for the week will be rescheduled. CNMI Public School System Interim Commissioner Donna Flores explains more. There will be no sports activities, or at least public school sports activities for the rest of the week. Um, and that's also because of, you know, we have the kids coming from the other two islands as well. And it's just a bit of an inconvenience for them considering, you know, what's happening and the flights. So um, it was in the best interest of the students just to um, push it to sometime next week or however um, our athletics director will fit it into the schedule. Hey golfers, come north and practice your game at the Marianas Driving Range. New Year's local specials. 10-piece coupon books available for just $60. That's a $10 savings. Want to get really good? Come work on your swing every day for just $99 per month. It's our practice pass and you're going to love it. Grab your passes and go straight to the range. You can social distance and chip all at the same time and the views are free. Reserve now at MarianasTrekking.com. You can pay online. Open seven days a week. One of the best addresses in Saipan has office space available now, right in the heart of things. The Marianas Business Plaza offers reasonable rates and can help build to suit your needs. You'll love the central location, just 15 minutes from the airport and 10 minutes from Garapan. Ample and covered parking keeps your vehicle close and protected. Two restaurants for easy access, lunch, dinner and business meetings. Building security and 24-hour access to your office. Backup generators, so you can run your business in all weather. And three elevators mean easy and convenient access. It's the address in Saipan, the Marianas Business Plaza. Taking a look at our weather tonight will be windy, mostly cloudy with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. We'll have southwest winds 20 to 30 miles per hour with lows around 78 and a 50% chance of rain. Tomorrow and tomorrow night will be breezy, mostly cloudy with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. Uh, southwest winds 20 to 25 miles per hour with highs around 85 and lows around 78 with a 40% chance of showers. High tide will be 1.8 feet at 5.58 a.m. tomorrow morning. Low tide will be 0.5 feet tomorrow at 12.10 before going up to 2 feet at 6.53 tomorrow afternoon.